Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to build 15 minifigures from Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1. These are minifigures that LEGO hasn't made, at least yet, or that are really expensive. So we try to use the cheapest parts possible for the creation of these minifigures. There are also many Obi-Wan Kenobi spoilers within this video, so make sure to go watch this show before you watch this if you haven't seen it yet. Let's get right into it. So first up, I have for you the man, the myth, the legend himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Of course, LEGO has made many different variations of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the past, but this is our unique variation which we think better represents him in the show. To build him, get this hair, Obi-Wan's face from the newest Obi-Wan sets, Mace Windu's body from the 2022 Republic fighter tank, which we exchanged the arms for dark tan arms and tan hands to match Obi-Wan, and then some dark tan legs. And then just finish him off with his signature lightsaber. This is a figure which accurately represents Obi-Wan in the show. Next, we have for you today, the Grand Inquisitor. Lego has made him in sets before, but he is an awfully expensive minifigure, so we have our version of him here for you today. He is made using Darth Vader's head, the Dark Trooper's body armor, a black rubber band around his neck. This is a little rubber band we got separately. We just wrap it up like so, and then just put it around his neck to add more detail to make it look like he doesn't have a neck. A Imperial officer's body, Moff Gideon's cape, dark gray legs, a black camera, and a lightsaber made using a dark gray hilt with a double-sided lightsaber blade. This figure uses relatively common pieces to create the devious character as he appears in this show. And now we have the young Rebel Alliance leaders, Luke and Leia. Luke is made by using a young Anakin on Tatooine, giving him different dark tan hair. And Leia is made with purple legs. This body, which the front of, which is turned around. This is the front of the body, which is from the Ewing Lego set. A little white stud for Lola, her droid. This girl head and this hair, which we got from the 2021 Lego Blacksmith House. These are two relatively easy characters to recreate in Lego form. Next, we have the third sister Inquisitor, Reva. She has Fennec Shan's hair, this head, which is from one of the Stormtroopers in this set here, a Inquisitor lightsaber with a dark gray hilt, and one red blade. You could give her two red blades, black legs, one of these Mando black capes, and this torso, which is from the Imperial officer from the 2021 Imperial shuttle turned backwards, as well as with one of those little rubber bands around her neck. This is a pretty accurate figure to help you hunt down all those pesky little Jedi. Now we have Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru, the faithful protectors of Luke Skywalker. To make Uncle Owen, we have dark brown hair, Carissian Andor's face, Mace Windu's body, with tan hands and different arms, if you have the body from 2022 Republic Fighter Tank, and tan legs. For Aunt Beru, we have this hair from a Resistance Officer, same face from that Resistance Officer, this Lego City torso, with maroon arms and dark tan legs. These are pivotal characters made quite easily in Lego. And now for Naja, the fake Jedi. To make him, simply get Poe Dameron's head, Lloyd's hair, but in black, one of these skinny Mandalorian capes in brown, Kadu Mundai's body, and a light gray pistol. He is an interesting character who helped Obi-Wan escape. And now we have Ned the Loading Droid. To build him, first get a brick which has studs on all four sides of it, then on the front of it, Place one of these pieces on the sides, get these clips with these yellow guns on them. On the back, a jump plate with this piece. Below, you get a stud with a hole in it, one of these T-joint pieces, two of those wrench pieces, you can see there, which go into these cone pieces, which then have the feet pieces underneath them. And then, for the head, get a blue one-by-one -one plate, black stud, 
yellow one by one plate, and then a tile on top of that. Then for the arm, if you want him to hold something, you can just stick a stud with a hole in it and a clip onto that. This is a pretty easy way to build a loader droid using relatively common parts. Next, we have a purge trooper. To build him, just get a dark trooper, give him a black camera, and a red pauldron like this one. We made our black camera and red pauldron using our video, how to make cameras and pauldrons for your Lego minifigures. So if you wanna make your own out of paper, check that out, it'll be linked in the description below. This is quite easy to do using paper, scissors, markers, and a printout. This is a great figure who will help your Inquisitors defeat the Jedi. Next, we have the Homeless Clone. To build this figure, get a 501st Clone Trooper from the 501st Battle Pack, trade out his hands for a white hand, a light gray hand, give him a white beard, some black hair, trade out one of his legs for a brown leg or a green leg of other sorts, Trade out one of his arms for a gray arm, or maybe a brown arm or a green arm, to make him look all ruffled up. Have him hold his helmet so that he can beg. This is a pretty easy figure to make if you have a 501st Trooper, and can be made in many different ways. And next is the 5th Brother Inquisitor. He is also made as a figure by LEGO, but he's awfully expensive. To build him, get a dark gray dish, this head, rubber band around his neck, dark trooper shoulder pads, a dark gray imperial suit, dark gray legs, a black camera, then just give him an inquisitor lightsaber. Now you have a ferocious character ready to hunt Jedi. Next I have for you the final inquisitor seen in the show, the second sister. For her, we have this cat piece from Nia from the Lego Ninjago movie. This black First Order Gunner torso, which is turned around backwards. Some black legs with a neat design. And a black camera. Also can be made using our How to Make Pauldrons and Camas video as well. Then just give her the Inquisitor lightsaber and she's ready to go. Next we have Tala as an Imperial Officer. To make her, simply get an Imperial Officer body in dark gray and a female head. This is a great character you can make to save Obi-Wan from the Empire. And now for Bail Organa. He is also made in Lego, but is an incredibly expensive figure. To make him, get this hair or this hair here. We had this hair uh, and we're planning to use it for this figure, but we couldn't find it before we made this video. Get this head from the Rogue One Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, dark gray cape, dark gray legs, and an imperial body, which as you can see here, is this imperial body turned backwards. So that is a simple way to make Bail Organa, who will recruit Obi-Wan to save Leia. So that was how to make 15 minifigures from the Obi-Wan Kenobi Show Season 1. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want us to make figures from any other Star Wars media, please let us know in the comments below, and any other suggestions you have of videos we should make. Also, please check out our other video we made in the Obi-Wan series, which is a mock. Me and my brothers, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time on Sanders 3 Studios. Bye!